Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome to Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer game bundled with Resident Evil 3. And today I'm going to show you a build solely for the purpose of learning how to beat the build. Because this is something that we talked about on day one of the Jill update. It is Cooling Fan Spencer. Spencer has a thing about his kit that lets you kind of cheese Area 2 to such an extent that he's basically unbeatable without a January or a USB coordinated equipment team. So, I'm going to show you how to beat it, I'm going to show you how to properly play Jan, and I'm going to show you what this looks like in a match so you understand what's going on and how people are going to counter it. Area 3, we have Hypercharge. Area 2, we have Mod Recycler. For his Bio Activation variant, we have Recharge so that he can go ahead and use the environment to charge up his Bio Energy. And then here's the important one. We have Defense System on his Umbrella Tech passive skill. The reason why we have that is so we can really take advantage of these cooling fans that we have on the equipment. Cooling fans allow your auto recovery from your fans to go much faster, okay? So typically when a camera is disabled, either by shooting it or by hacking it with Jan, it takes 10 seconds for that camera to recover on its own. If you run full cooling fan, it will only take five, okay? So now typically, when you are trying to disable a security device in area two after you get the card from Yorick, that typically takes five seconds. Now with defense system here, that makes that five seconds turn into 10 seconds. So basically what you're doing is you're flip-flopping them. So instead of your cameras taking 10 seconds, they take five. Instead of these security terminals taking five, they take 10. So what that enables is if your cameras get shot out, they will recover fast enough for you to go ahead and keep interrupting the person that is trying to deactivate the security terminal. Because once your camera's shot out, it'll recover within five seconds, and then it has that security shield around it where nobody can mess with it. And then that's where the deck of basically nothing but guns comes in because you can just keep shooting at somebody and keep provoking them to the point where they're never going to be able to get the security terminals done. Not only that, even if they sneak one in on you because you mess up, you have three chances to go ahead and cheese out on them. This is a giant cheese strategy because, frankly, it doesn't hold up as soon as you have the counter for it. Which is why I didn't make a video for it because I thought it was dumb. <laughs> but I've been seeing a lot more people use it and people not understand how to counter it. So now I'm going to show you what you do to counter it. A lot of this relies on January, but you can also go ahead and use USB equipment. And before we go into the lab, here's the deck. It's basically all the guns, including a mobilizing shot, clone, and quick draw to make it so you can cycle through the guns faster in case for whatever reason you don't have that, and then also discount so you can get a cheap card out. It's all about just having as many guns as you can, constantly, so you always have something there to provoke them. What I will say is if you run turret rifle, you do run the chance of the turret rifle not shooting at the person on the terminal. <laughs> When I was testing this, I ran into the situation where I had the auto turret pointed right at the security terminal with the person working on it, and then it just went and shot somebody else on the other side of the room. So there is that small chance of that happening, but typically it's going to go for whoever's closest to when you activate it. But do keep in mind that is a possibility that could backfire on you. So now let's talk about how to counter this. Jan is <laughs> easily the best counter. What you do with Jan is you put on EMP rounds one, EMP rounds two, and then if you want to, you can put energy drinks on. But mainly where she comes into play is her personal skill. It's going to be Lockdown. Lockdown is the best way to counter this, but you can also still use Instant. Lockdown is just better at it. And I'm going to show you in the lab exactly how to do this so that you Jan players out there can understand how to deal with this type of Spencer. Okay? I also recommend High Caliber because you're doing more damage to cameras. Knock those cameras out quickly, keep them down, time them out, and make sure that... He can't cheese you. One other way to go ahead and counter this is to run USB equipment. USB 3, 2, 1, and then baton all make it so the time to deactivate security devices is lower. If you run these three, you're going to get a 50% reduction, so that's going to bring you to 5 seconds again instead of the 10 seconds that Spencer forces by using his defense system. And then if you use baton, it goes a little bit below that. You can do what you want. It's hard to justify using this in a solo queue because you don't know if you're going to run into a Spencer, you don't know what your teammates are going to be like, but this can be very, very good against a Spencer that plans on cheesing you. This is an easy, easy counter, just like Jan is an easy, easy counter. 
I think you could rely on USB drive a little bit more than Jan because there may be a situation where there's two cameras pointing at one security device, in which case you're in a lot of trouble if you're trying to control something with lockdown because if you got two cameras that recover both within five seconds, you're not going to be able to get around the cheese. So USB drive is technically the best way to go ahead and counter it. But the thing that sucks about that is you have to dedicate your character's equipment to it. And who knows if you're going to run into that particular build of Spencer, right? There's four masterminds, like a billion different builds. You'd be kidding out specifically for Gun Spencer that wants to cheese an area too. But this will work guaranteed. Okay, so let's talk about how we can counter this build, right? So there's a few things you need to know. So first off, here's the camera. Assume that he's controlling it. You can shoot it out. And now watch how it recovers. This is going to be the default time. This takes 10 seconds. Now, with cooling fan Spencer, it's only going to take five. It goes much, 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 much faster. And then you can see it's shielded off, so I can't do anything to it. So you can't let it reach this point because he's immune for a little while while the shield is up. So things you can do to counter this. First, I'm going to show you the bullets. So it's down. You can go ahead and shoot at it to kind of keep it down. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if you keep shooting at it, this makes it so that it has a harder time to recover. So everybody on the team should be doing this if you run into this type of cheese, right? Now, it's still going to be much harder to keep down because it's going to be recovering faster. But if everybody's shooting back at it, that's going to do a lot to keep Spencer from recovering. Okay? Now, another way that you can go ahead and do this is if you have a lockdown with Jan. So let's say it's shot down. It's going to start recovering. So what you can do is use your lockdown skill and then just sit there and hold the button. And it's going to get jammed up and it's not going to be able to recover in time, which should buy plenty of time for the person working on the security device to complete the objective. So this means that Jan shouldn't be the one doing the security devices, right? It should be somebody else. One other thing I forgot to mention is that you can also use her EMP to mess with Gun Spencer. Because if you use camera lockdown, that'll make it so he can't aim. He, his cameras get stuck in place. So camera lockdown for 15 seconds will make it so he can't move his cameras around. And if for whatever reason he's out of position when you use your EMP on him or use your camera lockdown on him, that'll make it so he can't rotate his camera back to start shooting at the person who's on the security terminal. So this is yet another way to go ahead and counter this build. But now I just showed you lockdown. Now I'm going to show you how instant works in the lab. So if you have Jan and she has instant equipped instead of lockdown, here's how you handle this. So you go bop, 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 bop. Now the camera's down, right? So what you have to do with instant is you kind of have to time it. So you see how it's recovering? Well, I can start using instant now. I don't like being watched. And it'll reset it all the way through. So it's not going to be as effective as lockdown, but if you have this, you can still go ahead and mess with Spencer enough, especially if everybody else is shooting at the cameras. You can mess with Spencer enough to prevent him from cheesing on you in area two if you double up your instant skill after shooting the camera out first. So now I have Sam equipped, and you might be wondering, what does Sam have to do with countering Spencer? Couple things about Sam, or just tall people in general. <laughs> first off, Sam is a melee guy, right? If you go up against a Spencer, you should always err on the side of caution and buy a gun as Sam. Same with Tyro. If you go against a Spencer, it's possible they're going to run Supercore Spencer and you want to have the more powerful melee stuff, but too often do I see people go against Spencer and they stick with their mups or they don't buy a gun as Sam or Tyrone and then they can't keep up in Area 1. If he's going to be throwing a bunch of guns at you, you know, Spencer the Mastermind, and you don't have guns to fight back, that's how Gun Spencer wins. Gun Spencer is so easy to deal with, guys. You just have to be prepared and shoot back. That's really all you have to do. But too often I see Sam's and Tyrone's who don't prep for it properly. Or I see some of the characters that start with guns, but they get greedy because they don't get the gun that they want in Area 1. So they stick with their mups and then they can't keep up. If everyone buys a Quick Draw or a Matilda and then shoots back in Area 1, you're going to be fine. All you have to do against Gun Spencer is shoot back because that's how you milk your time back and that's how you keep yourself from getting shot down. The other thing about Sam is, look at how he's angled here, right? Big, tall man. And now look at that camera. If <laughs> This is a little bit more of a meta play, but if you run into a gun Spencer who's cheesing area two, and you have a Sam and a Tyrone, but let's say you also have a Valerie or a Martin or something like that, give the shorter person <laughs> 
the security key. Because part of what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to body block. If for whatever reason he's about to go ahead and start shooting at you like you didn't secure the camera well enough with Jan or something like that, you're going to want to body block the person who is <laughs> trying to complete the, the terminal advantage. because now if they get shot at it all, they get interrupted. So the shorter person is easier to block for than the taller person. Imagine if Valerie was trying to block for Sam. It wouldn't go very well. Sam's head would be sticking out. So you want the tall dude just to stand in front of the short people so that they can go ahead and body block and keep the bullets from hitting the security terminal person. Okay, so we're in a match here. And we're on Casino. I pick Spencer. Oh, yeah. I totally forgotten what I want to pick in terms of a preset. Um, I'm just going to use my net preset. But here's the idea. Cooling fan, cooling fan, cooling fan. And then I also have reinforced bearings so that I can rotate my camera better. And then my deck's going to be the gun deck. And that's what we're rolling with. I also have double D field on. I just like double D field. What I'm really hoping for in this match is that they beat me. Because <laughs> I want you guys to see what that looks like. If they have a Jan, I'm in a lot of trouble. I've run up against several Spencers who I know run this strat. And then they DC as soon as they see a Jan. Because, again, with a Jan, it's really easy to counter. This build is incredibly easy to counter. But under the circumstance, you have a Jan. Without that, suddenly it's like, oh, how do I even beat it? So we'll see. And they don't have a Jan. It sucks. I'm going to try to make it so they at least get to area two, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But, yeah, they don't have a Jan, which really sucks for them. Today so we'll I see how it goes. But basically, I'm just going to shoot at them a lot. To I'm going to gonna shoot, I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot. And I'm Spencer, so I can go ahead and farm stuff, which I totally forgot about already, but you can go ahead and farm doors, farm lights, all that type of stuff. That's part of how Spencer's so good at this, is that he can farm all that. And just take advantage of the fact that his bioenergy recovers faster than anybody else's. And now they might not even shoot at me here. But now I can go ahead and just be like, boop, as soon as they walk by. Now, Tyrone's not the guy you want to shoot because he has so much HP. But, you no, know, I could pop into them a few times. I've noticed that headshotting them is a little tough sometimes when they're gooped up. I have a lot of trouble shooting with guns sometimes. I'm not the best gun player in the world by a long shot. But you don't need to be with this strat, honestly. And now something I could try to work on here is put this bad boy on their back Coming and then go ahead the and plop this on over fire. here and just be ready with this and then get ready to... And now you get a ton of time taken off of them just as it is because you're sitting there, you know, plowing into them. And you can keep getting your bio energy back, get your couple of seconds here and there. It's really corny. <laughs> like, incredibly corny. And now I can go ahead and just keep messing with them here. So I can go ahead and get set up over here. I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this light here, get this bio energy, and I'm going to set up over here without being on the camera quite yet. Oh, I could do leg trap here. I totally forgot about that. See, like, I don't play this build a whole lot, so I kind of forget about the things you can do. But now I can be ready over here and just plow into both of them. Oh, I'm getting shot at by Jill back there. So I'm going to shoot at Jill for a little bit. Lock that. Do this. I can immobilize here if I want, which I'm going to actually. Take my time right there. She might shoot at me again. But I could pull out a regular rifle and just kind of plow into him some more. Take it now. And I'm going to keep shooting that Jill because she's shooting back at me. Ooh. Tyrone shooting at me or is she just like cornered up there? Ooh, cool. But now see how fast my cameras recover up in the top right hand corner? That's the cooling fans for you. And then they get really crazy. And I can sit here and shoot at Jilly. Jill has 1200 health usually. Ooh, he's got a yellow herb on. And now just switch off before they get you. These guys are doing exactly what I said not to do. They're running mups. And they are also... Yeah, I'm not even playing that well. They're running mups. And then they also are not... They don't have a jam. So they're not doing what they need to do. And now I can just keep shooting at them. Whittling away, whittling away. Now this can get much tougher on you as a Spencer. Really, I should be working on my bioenergy better. Like, I'm not playing this like a pro. Because frankly, you don't need to. That's why it's a cheesy strategy. Because you can kind of just be a total pile of crap at playing this game and still get really good results. So, let's see what I can do here. Now, they're all going to be grouped up over there, aren't they? Can I shoot over the top? Oh, did I get one? I think I got one. And then over the top if I'm I want to. Eh, I missed. But now, I area two is where you really get them. 
And you're gonna see it and you're gonna hate it because it's dumb. <laughs> but it's where you really get them. So I can just let them get Yorick. Really, I can just get here and get set up with everything. But my big goal here is just to show you the area two cheese. I don't even really care if I win. It's really one of my lower priorities here is winning. Mod Recycler does nothing for you with the way I have the deck set up. But that's fine. And are they coming? Here, I can go ahead and do this. Have that work on them for a little bit, and then I can shoot right here if I wanted to. The Lickers are going to keep them busy, but really they got to go find Yorick. That's their big thing. Stay still. And I can just keep pecking at them. Boom. Boom. Oh. I'm not super good at shooting in this game. Definitely not my strength. I can goop him there. I can go ahead and come over here, chill out some more. Liquors are going to work on him too. But really, I should be working on doors more or lights and that type of stuff. So I'm going to go do that. Get my lights in. He's working on Yorick, which is perfect. I want him to get Yorick so you can see this. All right, where's the first security device going to be? Now, this is a really tough one for them because there's two cameras here. There is more testing to be done. And now I can just shoot right here and just be really annoying. Keep interrupting him. I can use D fields. I can do whatever. He's got to keep track of who has it. Pop out of here. And now I'm going to recover in time. Unless they shoot at me. Now it's going to take him 10 seconds. And now he doesn't have enough time. See? And that's how you win. Doing that type of stupid crap. You can even farm while you're doing it. My Tyrone's running around. I just need to keep track of Tyrone, basically. So that's what I'm going to do. And now he's running up into here. I can turn the lights off or, you know, hold the door. And you just keep up on him. Keep running around with him. He can't do anything, really. He's in a lot of trouble here. So he's just going to keep doing that, and I'm just going to keep on him. I can lock doors. Go ahead and keep that up. This is how you win. They don't have a jam, so they can't really counter it. I'm just going to watch them for a while. And then they're just in a lot of trouble. Now, if they're sneaky, they'd start dropping the security key so <laughs> that I have trouble keeping up with them. And now something smart to do is to go ahead and time it. But now she's going to keep shooting, which is smart. They start using up a lot of ammo, too, which sucks for them. Then be like, it's also really smart that Tyrone has the key because he has so much health. Ooh, they got me. That was a good time. And I don't have a camera in here. Oh, and I can't use my D-field either. That sucked. So I couldn't use my D-field. I didn't have anything set up, but they got one there because I messed up. And my deck was loaded with a bunch of crap. So that was me messing up. Now, as you can imagine, if they have a jam, this is way easier for them. But what they did that was really smart there was they timed it up. And then they let Tyrone walk in, which is what you should do. I will find you again! Now he's not going to get it done in time. So I'm just going to kind of save up my guns here because of the way that they're playing. What a dick. Be I will not grant you now Tyrone just keeps running around. Of choice. Run, run. No time. You cannot hide from me. And they keep getting 15 seconds back here and there by doing that. Frankly, it usually doesn't matter. Now, now they're dropping the key and they gave it to Sam to try to be clever, I guess. Not gonna work though. Let's do this. Do this. And now they can't run back and forth fast enough. Now I can just keep watching here. So yeah, it really sucks for them. This is a really dumb build, and this is why I wanted to make a video about it. Oh, are they still? Are they just farming supply zombies at the bottom there? That's funny. But yeah, I want you guys to know how to beat it. Now something really smart is if you go ahead and you kind of try to time the camera up, which it kind of seems like they're doing a little bit of. See, that was smart. That's how you do that. And I'm and they're doing a really good job. Now, I might not be able to get this one in time. Or I will, because it's a cheesy strap. So, 
There you go, chat. They're not continuing to shoot at my cameras like they need to. Mobilizing shot gets in the way, too. So I had to make sure Tyrone couldn't block it. And now I should be farming a little bit better. Frankly, don't need to be too smart about how you play this, either. Oh, gotta find more ammo. That'll get them, too. And now they can't shoot through. And they're probably running out of ammo, too. So, yeah. Let's get rid of some of this crap out of here. And now I can sit here and make it so we can't pick him Even up either. With inferior subjects. I expected better than this. That's why I hate this build, and this is why I want you guys to be able to counter it. You are wasting your time and GG chat. Importantly mine. That's how you do it. It's dumb. We learned about this on day one with Jill when that update came out with the cooling fans. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if this would work with the defense I'm system. And it did. Run. I didn't talk about it much, though, because I thought it was dumb. But it wasn't fast and it's still dumb, now, was but it? people are catching on to it now. And people are using it, but not everybody knows how to counter it. So I hope I showed you a bunch of ways to counter it. And I hope I showed you how it works and to understand what's going on. But you got to stand in front of people. Bring a Jan. USB would have gone ahead and made it too, so that I wouldn't have been able to keep up with them. USB equipment. Um, you learn how to use the two different things with Jan Lockdown and Instant. And yeah, I think we covered just about everything. If I forgot to say something here, I know I covered it earlier in the video. This is Cooling Fan Spencer, and this is also how you counter Cooling Fan Spencer. I hope you learned a thing or two and that you know how to deal with this bull crap that I've been seeing a lot more of in the game. I look forward to seeing many gun Spencers fall to their stupid strategies. <laughs> All right, chat. Thank you so much. We stream every night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. I'd love to see you over there. Link is in the description. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think down below if you have any other builds that you'd be curious in me doing or things you want me performing for the game. Nikolai's coming out this month. I'm excited to cover him. We'll be covering him a bunch. And with that, thank you so much for being here. You guys are awesome. And then I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.